Ah, it's one of those days where I'm enjoying a con, but I want to make sure you guys get content coming to you. So we're going to talk about all the amazing decks that are going to be topping in most events in BT9. So let's dive into this video and talk about it. Boys, X Antibody War Greymon. Out of the three red decks that you're going to be playing, this is probably the most consistent and most powerhouse of the group. I follow it by probably going into Gr Galatmon next, followed by Gaio Black War Greymon. Kind of ties with Galatmon. So they're kind of like neck and neck in that situation. So I feel like all in all, this is what you're going to be looking at. So this will be the deck you're kind of going to go for. So first off, we know the Koromon to draw you cards. Agumon, just to reveal top three cards of your deck, add one card with Greymon in its name, and then, you know, add one card with Omnimon in its name among them, place the rainy cards at the bottom of the deck. So if you get your Omnimon X antibody, you can just set up a blocking fest, and that's kind of huge. Uh, Agumon X antibody, just being able to on play, reveal three cards from the top of your deck, or when did you evolving is really good. Uh, add one X antibody, the option. And one card with Greymon or Omnimon and name among them to your hand. Place the rain cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So basically, you're just going to try to get all your combo pieces going forwards. Uh, Agumon here, so when it attacks a player, gain more boost. Greymon here, because if you can Digivolve, as long as you have an Agumon, it can't be X Antibody. But as long as you have the right one of the regular Agumons, you can instantly go into the X Antibody. You can go into the X Antibody, and as long as there's a regular Agumon, You'll gain that one memory becoming a one cost. Then you have the X antibody for protection from being returned from to its owner's hand or deck. Or you may prevent it from leaving play by discarding two cards with the same level as the Digi-Evolution sources. So just something to keep in the back of your mind. You have Greymon with extra security checks. Metal Greymon X antibody. You know this card. When did you evolving this Digimon get security plus one? And until the end of turn of your opponent's turn. So, then if Metal Greymon or X Antibodies in CG Evolution Sources, this Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP till the end of your opponent's next turn. So, that's kind of huge. He gains an extra security and plus 3,000. Uh, this happens when Digivolving. So, if you don't put X Antibody underneath it, when Digivolving, before you Digivolve into this Digimon, uh, that option, you will not gain that extra 3,000 DP. And if you don't have a Metal Greymon in it, you're kind of screwed. Uh, Metal Greymon, when attacking, this just gives you piercing so you can swing into something and just kill it all, right? Uh, Altarius mode, just another self-protection like X antibody Greymon. Uh, but it also treats itself as Metal Greymon. So this X antibody will actually check its for this account. So now you kind of just have more options to go. And then when Digivolving, if you have a Tamer play, delete one of your opponents Digivolving with 5,000 DP or less. Very powerful. You play this War Greymon because when did you all it gains an extra security check, so his effect goes up even if you go into X antibody. But your turn when this Digimon doesn't doesn't activate security skills of options cards checked. So basically this helps in the yellow hybrid matchup, and it's just very powerful all in all. You have War Greymon X antibody all turns when a Digimon is removed from your opponent's security stack, gain one memory, and then end of attack. If the Digimon has War Greymon or X Antibody, which is the option in its Digi Evolution sources, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon. So it's a very powerful removal attacker, which gets ridiculous. And just being able to, when a card is removed from your opponent's security stack, gain a memory. This thing really messes with Yellow Hybrid because it's all turns. So if they remove one, put one back, they might as well not have done that because now that costs them an extra memory. So it's just one of those things that he has to be answered. Uh, but the self-protection doesn't help against minusing DP. So if you can just minus him off the board, you're really in a good spot. Uh, Blitz Omni, just basically blitz for game after you clear out so much security. X antibody, self-protection. Just sometimes you just need to get there just to defend yourself after you've gone in. Or if your opponent's going to come in and just whack you so hard. Uh searchers are always necessary x antibody helps against blue hybrid and just being able to gain a memory adding this card to hand place this this thing can be placed underneath one of your digimon without x antibody instead of evolution sources and then all turns x antibody can't be trash 
from this Digimon's Digital Decision cards by Cardifex. And when attacking, you may Digivolve this Digimon into a Digimon in your hand with X antibody and straight by paying its Digi-Evolution cost. So basically, being able to climb up pretty quickly, it's ridiculous. And most of the X antibodies alone are free, caught, free. so you're just going to go to town there. Ties just for the extra security checks, and Cool Boy just for that gain memory and draw. Just really good all-around powerhouse. And just being able to be a searcher in himself really does help out. Uh, let's talk about blue. Blue is coming in hot. Uh, I think Magna Gurumon X Antibody is going to be the deck for blue. This format, Imperial Dramon kind of moves down, but you also do have armor that has Magna X Antibody. I will not disagree that you have options in this. Uh, it's tough because both decks will probably see equal amount of play because one counters the other in most circumstances. So it's just something to keep going forwards and thinking about, you know, just something to think. Uh, to Sunomon, you know the drill, gain extra 1,000 DP on your turn. Uh, Gabumon to draw us a card. Gabumon to reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with Gurumon its name and one card with Omnimon its name among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. Just fun stuff there. Uh... X antibody Gabumon on play. Same thing as the Agumon gets you this option and then one card with Gurumon or an Omnimon. So, and then place the reigning at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Gabumon all turns. If you have eight or more cards, gain a thousand DP, which is very easy in this. So they, because that makes your X antibody climb bigger, you now your opponent has to deal with it. Uh, Garumon all turn, same thing, gains an extra 1,000 DP, but when Digivolving, if this has Gabumon as Digivolution Sword, gain one memory. Same thing with the Agumon trade-off. <sighs> Make sure that you have the Gabumon and not just X-Antibody. Gabumon X-Antibody does not count for that gain one memory, so it will screw you up if you do not time this right. Then you have Garumon X-Antibody, no main effect, same thing, similar to the Greymon X-Antibody. Uh, but it has when this Digimon with Gurumon or Omnimon its name would be deleted by battle. You may trash two sources, two cards from the same level in this Digi Evolution cards to prevent that deletion. So just basically, if they're going to try to blocker you, at least if they have it bigger, they can only block once. Fine. That's just going to not kill your Digimon because you're ruining the sources and then you'll just continue swinging the town. Uh, Gurumon. This card is just your draw central. It just keeps drawing you. Draw, 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 draw. And that's all you're going to do with it. Uh, Where Gurumon X Antibody. Unsuspend this Digimon. Then, if this Digimon has Where Gurumon or X Antibody and Illusion cards, return one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to their hand. All in all, great card. Where Gurumon, when attacking, if this Digimon has Gurumon and Digi Evolution sources, unspend this Digimon. While you have eight or more cards in your hand, this Digimon gains security plus one. So basically, once you start getting into the X and the Metal Gurumon here, you're all going to just go to town and you're just going to keep checking security and make your opponent have a bad day. Uh, Sagittarius mode, paired to its counterpart, it, the Altarius mode, this one's not as much needed. It's great, yes. When did you all have a Tamer Prey? Return two of your opponent's level three. Uh, love, return two of your opponent's level three Digimon to hand. It's nice to control, but... When this Digimon with Gurumon or Omnimon in its name would be deleted by battle, you may trash two cards with the same level in this Digimon Digi Evolution cards to prevent that deletion. So just basically battle protection. Uh, all in all, good stuff here. Uh, Digivolving Metal Gurumon. When Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon. This Digimon gains blocker. Uh, not bad until your opponent's next turn. And then once per turn, when this Digimon becomes unsuspended, this Digimon has Metal Gurumon or X Antibody in Digi Evolution sources. Return all your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level to their owner's hand. So basically, bye-bye board sometimes is just really nice. Especially the bigger they are, the easier this can happen. Uh, Metal Gurumon's in here to handle like Dexmon. Anything that has an on deletion skill, you can get it out of here. Which is huge because uh, you're going to have a Tamer in play very easily. And you have eight or more cards. Very easy in this deck. But also he's a great bridge gap because he can become... Zero cost for Digi Evolution, and that's stupid. That is just ridiculously dumb. And that's what you're going to do to punish your opponent. Omni Moms with Blitz, you know the drill here. Uh, X Antibody, just basically, if you didn't kill them and they're going to come back at you, you can just go into X Antibody to prevent death. 
uh, dedicated plan. You know, the drill shuts off options. X antibody, same thing. You're just going to be jumping and skipping all the way through all your good stuff. Davis is in here just to help search a little bit. Uh, outside of that, we're going to use Hero because it can make our Wear Groomon a little more beefier, especially when we want to have an extra couple security checks going. You know what I mean? You want to have that ability to be able to check a few things. So just something to think about, especially when this Wear Groomon can get up to maybe, you know, a good fashion 10K, and then you swing in once, then you evolve into the next one, you swing once, twice, and that can really just do some damage here. You know, just something to think about. And there's just so much combo potential that it's ridiculous. Uh, Yellow Hybrid is going to be one of those decks that you got to deal with the BS to get to the wins. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because Yellow Hybrid is going to build up and then they're going to tear you the hell down. Uh, if they can keep a Sukuyamon up the whole game... Uh, your OTK is just shut down completely, and they're just going to keep slowly pinging you with the Gilamon, Gigimons, uh, Fireballs, you know, Atomic Inferno, Crimson Blades, Venge Kidmon to cycle all the options back, Holy Flame to weaken your Digimon if they can't uh, shut you down with Shikuya. They'll just make sure that your OTK potential just got shut down and just shut off. Uh, Sunrise Burst is just nasty of a card because for every red and yellow tamer you have in play, or red or yellow tamer and play minus 3000 dp from one of your opponent's digimon and it's a five cost so this gets ridiculous especially the later this goes and you know you know the jet selfie line climb up and your opponent has to deal with your threats it's just a nasty deck all in all crimson blade shutting down any 6000 dp trying to cheat, cheat shenanigans kari's kari uh basically make jet selfie free uh zoe's just basically taking fun stuff out helping you out uh, TK Kari, just being that there's a reason why we are playing a dedicated plan and a, and a red tamer in some sort in every red deck this format, any deck this format, and that's because of Bielza Star, Biel Bell Star, and our good friend Yellow Hybrid. You want to have outs to those decks. They are going to be one of the toughest decks to beat, so you want to have the answers to them. And you, we already know what Dexamon does. You know this. Uh, just popping all your opponent's Digimons with the lowest play cost, and then on play when Digivolving, just de digivolving all that stuff. It's just a nasty card to get rid of. You know, just getting rid of anything that has an on deletion effect is huge. Uh, OTKing with Grandis Kawaga. Uh, this thing is why green is spiking like crazy. Uh, when did evolving suspend one of your di opponent's Digimon? Then if this Digimon is attacking, may switch the target of that attack to one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. If we have Pierce, we're going to Pierce right through him. Uh, your turn, this Digimon gets plus 4,000 DP. Out of attack, if this Digimon has Grand Kawaga or X Antibodies Digi-Evolutions cards, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, this deck will hide in raising. Does not matter. That is their goal. End of ejections. It's all it's going to do. It's going to want to go all the way up and punish your opponent. Uh, we'll have like Kawagamon here for the extra security so that you can apply pressure without probably having to use your jamming uh, Digiverse skills. But we have Kawagamon X antibody that has uh, can Digivolve on top of his Kawaga form. You have Yokobon to give this more power. Um, if you don't see the Palmon, we have Pumon. Players can't play Digimon by effects. Shuts down basically does what crimson blaze does so basically they have to get rid of pumamon first and that's just how that goes uh terrymon just because your opponent can't gain memory except with tamer effects uh that's just all we're going to be doing here weedmon you know the drill for digi bursting to gain the memory metal kabu terrymon to digivolve on tamer but also can help us digivolve on top of our level four so we can go one two three 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 security checks on its own about four security checks by himself so basically this thing gets ridiculous pretty quickly that means you only need to apply enough pressure to win and that just gets nasty really quickly you know you have x antibody here that's if this digimon digivolves on an aquagamon or x antibody digi or x, x antibody digivolution card 
Uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if this Digimon is attacking, you may switch the target of that attack to one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. But also when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon card with Insectoid in its traits, reduce the cost by one. So making it cheaper for you going forwards. And then this card is a promo that you're going to need on top of it. Uh, when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with Insectoids in its trait, all your opponent's Digimon get when this Digimon is suspended, lose one memory. So basically, all your opponent's Digimon, until their end phase, literally gets an Ice Wall effect. That is nasty. And that is crazy. Your opponent is just going to lose because they don't have an answer to Ice Wall on a body. <laughs> but it also has Piercing, which is huge. So that's just kind of what you're going to do here. Uh, we already talked about Grandis, Palamon for jamming. Grand Quagamon, you're going to Digiburst everything out. And then you're just going to go to town with Grand Quagga. Green Memory Boost to extend plays and search places. A dedicated plan to shut off options against that yellow and purple decks. Uh, Hero, just to give us the extra little boost. Because once you shut off options, sometimes their security and yellow hybrid can get up to here. And you don't want to get there. So basically what you're going to try to do is just move through the flow and just shut it down you want to get higher than what they can reach so just think about that and then you have mimi mimi's just so that the more mimi's you have out you can otk that final rookie out and go like bruh we done so that's kind of what's going to happen here very all great list for green and i can't wait to see what happens here next we have the alpha boy Alvamon is coming in hot this format, being one of the best deck, if not the best deck of the format. Black has finally taken the mantle of, I am going to stay here and you're going to have to deal with me. So Alvamon is coming in because he can de-digivolve your opponent's Digimon when your turn, when the Digi Evolution cards increase by one, de-digivolve one of theirs. So you can just make them smaller and then you can swing in and pierce in, you know, or you, or you mode. Basically, deleting all your opponents Digimon with the highest play cost can just get rid of threats. But you may return up to one seven non Digi Egg cards with X antibodies and the traits from this Digi Evolution card to the bottom of the owner's deck in any order to gain memory for each card return. So basically, at the end of your turn, you can make it keep it your turn and just swing in and win game that way. Just things to think about because, again, you're going to get Duro Greymon and just apply pressure there. You got Dexadura Greymon for giving blocker and retaliation if you have its sources here. And that gets really nasty pretty quickly, especially if you get that with Oryumon. He becomes a blocker and that. Your opponent just got nothing for days on that. Uh, it has self-protection and it can restand a Alphamon. So basically what really happens is either you go into Oryumon and you're really just a nasty little fucker on it. Or you're alpha mining it on your opponent. Both are going to just do a lot of pressure and apply so much to your opponent. It's not even funny. Um, but then you just go into Oryumon. And then congratulations. Oryumon's just basically removing sources. But they're, it's going to apply pressure. Control board state. Uh, major reason why this deck does so well is that Kangu's a card. So your opponent has to get into a level six or else it can't attack i mean play cost seven most cards in this format aren't breaking level eight, like eight costs sometimes they'll sit on like a level five or let's say they're on notorious mode that's a seven uh seven seven unless they go into this card i mean seven or less uh seven or this has to be eight I mean, seriously, there is not very little time. The only time this just doesn't help in this matchup because Duro Greymon and Dexadura Greymon both don't care because they're level eights. Their play cost eight. So basically, they have to get into the Mega first before swinging in certain circumstances. And that really hurts, especially if they don't have that piece to climb into right away so that helps set off set, slow down your opponent but it also makes it so that yellow hybrid can't do jack diddly shit so basically shutting down their recovery path is huge uh black memory boost you know the drill delays uh coda just basically searches for pieces yuja draw gain a memory and you have cool boy doing the same thing gain a memory draw a card and you know 
also helps search for your lovely X antibody pieces, which they all are X antibodies except for Grumblebond. So you're just gonna go to town on them. I mean, Dur Durmon basically gaining you memory, Ryuda's giving decoy to help protect. Uh, there's Durmon is basically on play, trash one card with X antibody and straight to draw two. Just basically helps you filter and gain more combo pieces. It has now fully come to full circle and synergizes with itself. This is just nasty incarnation. And then I think for purple, we're going to have to give it to Bellastar. I think out of all in all, the deck that's going to really do well for control, it's going to be Bellastar and, you know, Yellow Hybrid. Both decks are going to hover around for being the best deck in the format. But what really helps this deck out is that we have Kyushiru, this new tamer that sets us to three. But also, when you attack with a Digimon with Jellymon or a level five or higher, which we're going to be swinging with our Bialza Star, uh, if you have seven or less card, draw a card. Spend this tamer, draw a card. That's huge because if you're at seven, you're going to draw a card. I mean, hey, four cards in hand. Whoop de doo. Now I'm drawing two cards because this Bialza Star swung. Just things to think about. Like, it's just crazy. The Kytus Breath, the bounce threats off the board. Especially against the blue matchup, you can bounce any of the armors out of here, or you can bounce any of the other annoying little shits. So it's just things that you didn't really have access to last time. Now you do. Just things to think about. Uh, you might want to play Howling Crusher. It might not. It's up to you. Uh, outside of that, all in all, good stuff. Debbie Mera, Pagumon, uh, Gobblemon X so that you can achieve all on your Gobblemon here. So when your Bielsa Star comes in, you can use the blue options. Uh, Psychmon to help alleviate anybody trying to play a Dexmon or Death Xmon. Gazimon X antibody, trash three cards from the top of your deck for Gaze. That's awesome. That makes it so that you now have options so that you're not being slowed down anymore. You don't have to rely on scatter mode with fucking jamming. That card is so annoying, it's not even funny. We have Vilemon with Blocker. We have Drachmon to cycle back the loop of Calling from Darkness to get your pieces back. Uh, Ginkamon Promote to be spammed out with Nailbone. I mean, Dobermon here just for more card adding. Uh, Dexmon being Dexmon. Bellastar being Bellastar. Wart Swarmer clearing seven play cost seven or lesses. Uh, Fly Bullet just getting rid of your opponent's level six or lower Digimon. Uh, Miss Memory Boost to help Mill 2 draw a card. Deathclaw kill champions or rookies. Nail bone just get you wide uh, and get you a blocker on board. Happy bullet shower. Deleting all your opponent's Digimon with lowest DP. So basically, all in all, great stuff. Bialza Star is going to be one of those formidable control decks. And that's going to be one of those two decks you're going to be seeing a lot of if you're a control player. Uh, because, again, write this now. You have like maybe three-ish control decks. And that's Bialza Star, uh, Magnamon X, and then you have the final deck of being your friend and favorite yellow hybrid. So basically you have so much variety coming this way. It's not any funny. So we're going to have to see what happens this format. I'm going to be waiting probably to make a tier list on this format because I need a little more research. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.